hello everyone so in previous video we have seen like how actually we can create a database and how actually we can create a table okay and in this video we are going to see how actually you can create a table and insert a values into the table okay so for creating a database what is the syntax we were using create database suppose i am creating one test database okay so this is the syntax we were using if you will execute you can see commands completed successfully now if i have to use this database so what is the command i will use use and the database name so now i am in inside this database so what actually i have done i have created one database and i am using that database so i have used the use and the test db so now i am in inside the test db okay now in this db i want to create one table okay so how actually i can create a table create table and i am creating one employee table okay create table and the table name after that uh, the column name we have to pass i want id i want name i want salary okay i want id name salary and also i want a location okay now these are the column i have decided okay now you have to define the data type okay so id should be integer right employee id should be integer so i will give the id integer name should be where care so i will give an where care okay a comma okay salary should be integer so i will give data type as a integer and the location will be the also in, in, where care okay so i'll give the where care now if i will execute this my table will be created okay uh, i think comma we have one given right here okay now if i will execute now you can see one table got created employee table what is the syntax for creating table create table and the table name after that you have to give the all the column name and the data type you have to define okay now if you want if you want to see your uh, table right what is the syntax select star from employee if i will do i will be able to see my data okay as of now only the schema is there as of now only the schema is there now you can see we have id we have name we have salary and location as of now we have created only the schema now we'll see how actually we can insert a value in this table okay now we'll see how actually how we can insert values into the table into the table okay so we have a insert statement we have a insert statement insert into statement okay so how actually we can use let us try to see okay if i want to insert into this table right so what is the syntax i have to write insert into and the table name what is my table name my table name is employee right and the values after that you have to write values and what is the value you have to pass so i have a four column right i have a id i have a name salary and the location so i have to pass all the value so suppose i am passing id as a one a name i will give in a uh, com, uh, code okay in a code i have to give so name i will pass manish okay the salary i have to give let me pass randomly and the location i will give okay so this is how actually we can insert into the table if i will execute this you can see one row affected we have inserted one row what is the syntax we are writing insert into table name after that you have to write a values and you have to give all the values whatever the column you have defined we have defined id we have defined name we have defined salary and we have also defined the location right now if i will show you the data okay select star from employee okay now if i will do select star from employee you can see this is the table which we have created and this is the value we have inserted okay now let me insert one more record let me insert one more record so what i will give insert into the table name and the values and i will give the id as a 2 i will give the name as a rohan okay i will give the random salary and i will give the location india only okay if i will execute one more rows got affected okay so now if i will show you the data we have inserted the two records so that is how actually we can insert a data okay now you can ask me one question okay suppose i only have to insert the id and the salary then how actually i can insert okay so suppose if i only know the id and the name and i don't know about the salary and location and if i have to insert the data so how actually i can insert it okay so suppose okay in this case let me show you okay suppose only i know the id and i know the name suppose name is the mohan okay and i don't know about the salary and the location if i will use the same syntax for this 
it will give me error it is giving like the column name or number of supplied values doesn't matter okay we total have a four values but we are only passing the two values that's why it is giving me error okay so in this case what actually we have to write insert into the table name after that whatever the column name values you know right you know right that value only you have to pass i know id i know name okay this two column values only i know so what you have to write insert into table name after that you have to mention the column and then the values and the value you have to pass now if i will execute okay now if i will execute one row affected now if i will show you that table okay we have inserted one more row and the id is 3 and the name is mohan okay how actually we can insert insert into the table name what is my table name employee and after that suppose i know the id i know the salary so i will write the id salary okay and after that you have to write values and the values you have to pass the id is 4 and the value is 20000 okay now if i will execute this one row affected now if i will show you select star from table now you can see we have inserted the values okay now whatever the value we don't know right that is coming as a null null means nothing okay there is no value there okay so that is how so we have a two ways to insert a data suppose you have to insert the all the values so what you have to write insert into the table name values and all the values you have to pass okay only the limited column values you know then you have to insert into like this insert into the table name and the column name you have to pass and the values you have to pass okay yeah that is how actually we can create a table and we can insert a into a table yeah that's it in this video thank you